Next question is, is there a baby on the way? again with another YouTube video. Today we are going to be answering some questions that a lot of you on YouTube and TikTok have asked us. We're super excited to answer these. We went through all of them and we weren't able to answer all of your questions, but a good amount of them. So super excited about that. Um, so here we go, Dante. Are you ready? I think so. This is the first question. Most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, I got this. So, <laughs> I was in high school, and before you know, getting on the bus, I was at my house, and I got dressed, and for some reason, I just laid down in my closet. Um, at this time, we had a dog there or whatever, but I was just, you know, got on the bus, went to school, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, someone came up to me like, "Hey, uh, you got some stuff on your pants right there." And I looked back, and it was just a freaking big piece of shit. <laughs> So I have my freaking dog shit just on my pants. So that's not the most embarrassing thing. But the crazy part is like no one said anything besides that one person. So shout out to that person. Yeah. I didn't even know who that person was. But yeah. They were looking out for you. Looked, so I had to wipe it off. And it, then it just looked like a big water spot when I was done. But yeah. That's probably the most embarrassing thing. Yeah. Oh, that is embarrassing. Yeah. Mine would have to be I went to one of those big indoor water parks when I was, I don't know, probably like seven or something. So there's a specific spot where you get hit the hardest and so I was like, oh, okay, like I'll go to the spot I'm, I, I want to be like everybody else and I was wearing a two-piece and as soon as the water hit me I got knocked to the ground and my like bottoms flew off to my ankles It was so embarrassing and a lot of like parents came up to me and were like, are you alright? Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just scurried off to my parents. So that was really embarrassing <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that was bad. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you like pineapples? I like pineapples. I like to eat pineapples. If you're referring to the other pineapples, nah, we ain't with that. <laughs> but other than that, we like to eat pineapples. Yeah. All right, all right. We do right. like, yeah. Do you want kids? Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. I think when we first started dating, you know, once we got our stuff together and, yeah. you know, we were able to travel and do all those things and, um, you know, now it's time to extend our family and, uh, yeah, we're, we're going through the process now of trying to do that. So hopefully, you know, you guys will hear some news soon, but yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. Definitely want kids. Next question is, is there a baby on the way? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Yeah. I know a lot of people have asked this question. I think there was like a total of eight people asked this specific question. Not yet. We're in the process of trying and we hope to bless you guys with the news soon. So, yeah. yeah, it's coming. We're in practice mode. We're having fun. And <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best thing that we can do right now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Do you and Dante fight sometimes? Of course we do. Yeah, yeah. I think all relationships you do. I think it's a, it's a healthy dose of understanding the other person and trying to figure out their point of view and ours. We may not come to an agreement, but we understand each other. Hey, I get your point, you get mine, and kind of keep it moving, you know? But some days, yeah, you want to chop her knees off, but <laughs> hey, it is what it is. She probably wants to do the same to me. <laughs> that was well put. I don't even know if I can back that up. Yeah. No, I would say it's the same thing. Like, I think if you're not fighting, I'm not saying that your relationship isn't healthy, but I feel like you got to get those fights and understand each other on things that you might be frustrated about. It's not good to hold it in. Yeah, I mean, we live with someone else. They're totally different than you are, so mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. hard to live with anybody. You know, you fight with your sisters and brothers and yeah. you know, your mom and your dad and whatever the case may be. You're living with someone in their one house, so yeah. there are certain things that she doesn't like that I do and vice versa, so you just got to kind of compromise and figure it out because it's going to be forever, so <laughs> it's kind of... Uh, you <laughs> You're be, stuck with me yeah. now. <laughs> You can be miserable all day or you can learn to, yeah, figure it out. Yeah, you can make compromises and make it work. All right, here we go. Next question is, what country would you two love to visit? Uh, for me, it would be Greece. We've Same. always talked about it just because, like, it just looks 
one really cool. They got the blue water, white sand. They got mm -hmm. the nice buildings and yeah. um, obviously like just the food we want to try. So I think Greece would be definitely a place that we want to see. San Antonini and yes. specific. Yes. No, I mean, I agree 100% Greece. My mom and her friends are actually going to Greece next summer and I said no because I want to go with Dante. <laughs> so that's how much it means for us to go to Greece together. So yeah, super excited. Hopefully in the near future. Yeah, she should have we'll, went. We'll have to go. No, I want to go with you. We still could have had a good time. No, I have to go with him. That was That was like one of our lists for like honeymoon. So we were like, it's special. Yeah, our oh, honeymoon got cut short because of COVID. So we actually did something in Michigan here. So we still have to plan that and try to figure that out too. Yeah. But it happened. Yeah, for sure. What's your guys' age? I'm 25. I am 28. Birthday's coming soon. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not. I'm 29. <laughs> Shit. Birthday's coming soon. Big dirty 30. So. Big three zero. Yeah, Ooh. I'm getting up there. I feel great though. Yeah. Like I'm 21. Right. Yeah, especially on the basketball court, the yeah. way you've been playing. <laughs> Who was interested first? This yeah, guy. probably me. Yeah, I mean, I came up to her and yeah. Yeah. I don't think she wasn't interested, right? She no. still gave me her number, but I think I was the one that kind of initiated it. For sure, for yeah. sure. You're the one who like saw me from across the room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know how she missed me though. I'm like eight feet tall, so. Yeah, I wasn't really like, at that time I wasn't looking for a relationship or like you people. You so. don't gotta look for a relationship to see, oh damn, that dude's seven feet. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Dude, makes me feel bad. She can still see me, so. Well, I was with friends in like a corner, so I wasn't really like looking out to anybody, but. Yeah. Yeah, when I did see him the first time after my friends pointed him out, I was like, oh, okay, so. You know, when I oh, saw you, okay. yeah, exactly. the sparks flew. But yeah, no, I was, in, I was intrigued first, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Where'd you get your leggings? Well, I got my leggings from Amazon. Where'd you get that? I got from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, they are out of stock. I've been going back trying to get more, but you guys just keep buying them up. Are they comfy? Yes. <laughs> Do they last long? Not necessarily. I would say like it lasts maybe a year roughly. So like I feel like every time Christmas starts to come around, I need to get more. Um, Pause. I got her these leggings. Oh, yes. Dante got them first. I got her these <laughs> leggings last year for Christmas. Didn't give him the credit. She goes through these leggings like crazy. Well, I ordered more after they were so great. Yes. That's what it was. But she goes through them like crazy. So quality wise, I don't know. Yeah, quality wise, it's like a, it's hard because they're super comfy, but I wear them all the time. Like if I only wore them every once in a while, I feel like they'd last longer, but I wear them so if you're gonna working get, out, going out, like, yeah. so you know, they're going to be tore up. Just get multiple of the same color and mm -hmm. this one's only for this, this is for that. Yeah. It might last longer, but yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so Amazon, I'll let you guys know when they have more for us, but right now they're they're fresh out. Um, what color is your bedroom wall? It is Silverado Sage by Magnolia Home. What year would you travel back to and why? What year? Mm -hmm. I get two times of this or just one? I, well, you, there's two years you wanna go back to? Well, yeah. Okay, well then yeah, sure, go ahead. Well, one year is just like me being back overseas playing. Mm -hmm. um, I got to play in England for a little bit. I just met some amazing people over there um, that I still talk to to this day. So I think that's just fun. I mean, my job was playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And then um, two is um, just when I was living with my parents and I met her and my grandma started living with us. Because mm -hmm. um, I really get to see my grandma a lot because I was in college and I went overseas. So being able to live with her that time that she was around, I think that was, it was really cool. And we got to wake up, you know, with breakfast and mm -hmm. eat dinner with her. So that, I think that was really fun and just being able to hang out with her. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I would say the year I would go back to is 2016. I had, I would say like the most exciting time in college with my roommates 
and because I played soccer at the time with soccer so all around like I had a really great year I was having fun with friends and also like doing well in school so I would say 2016 was like a solid year that I was like yeah I'd like to go back to that that was fun yeah so the year yeah I didn't even say my year but 2016 yeah then... I think yours was 2016 and 2018 18, yep. yeah yeah uh what do you do for a living um so I am in tech sales mm -hmm. um right now I started off my career as a loan officer on the mortgage side of things and then I went over to an account executive on the mortgage side and I just um got to a new company that I absolutely love um doing tech sales so I love this space I'm going to continue doing it I get to help people every day um, and get to talk to a whole bunch of different people. So I love what I do. I get to work from home. Mm -hmm. So I'm here all the time. You have weekends off finally? Yeah, I get weekends off finally because mm -hmm. my first job, I wasn't able to do that and I was, I was working a lot. So oh, that was insane. Yeah, I decided to put my mental health over money. Um, so the quote that I've always, I will always live by now is never trade your time for money. Um, money will always come, it will be there. Um, we can't get your time back, so enjoy it and spend time with people you care about because you will regret it later on in life. So I decided to do that earlier on than not. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I am where I am now. I'm happy. I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, just keep on rolling. Yeah. No, oh, that's a great saying. I am, I do the content creating full time, which I love. And now I have a little bit more free time. I had a lot of other side jobs that I was working on, but I've cut those out so I can give this my full attention and just kind of help keep the house up a little bit better. So yeah, that's my full time job. I love it so much and just kind of like being able to connect with you guys and getting the feedback that I get from you guys and the fact that like we make your day better and you know, make you smile is like really important. So that's what I absolutely love because, oh man, we're going through some crazy times. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's been crazy. So to make you smile and happy for whatever you're going through is amazing. Yeah. So when you're, when you're able to wake up every day and you love what you do, it makes uh, life a little bit easier. 100%. Um, uh, next question is, how do you encourage yourself when you're down? Um, I try to tell myself that it's temporary. Um, that doesn't always work. Sometimes I just need to cry it out. But... That's the best way I encourage myself when I'm down, I'd say. Um, if I'm feeling bad or having a bad day, try to get up, take a shower, wash my face. And like she said, just know that it's not going to be forever. Mm -hmm. Just know every day is different. Um, but to, to wake up grateful that you're here and you know you have another opportunity to go pursue your dreams, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, just, just try to think positive. Um, there was a time in college, uh, one of my coaches, um, very grateful for him. I was down and was having a hard time some of the time, but I used to wake up every day and uh, send him a positive quote, whatever that was. Anytime you can read a positive quote every day when you wake up, um, your, your day for me, I felt a little bit better. So um, that's one of the things I used to do. I probably should get back to doing that a little bit more. Um, it's not there forever. Yeah, it's just a temporary feeling. Yeah. But yeah. What's the best song of 2022? Anything with Blast. Okay. Hands down. Okay. <laughs> I'd say my, the best song is that one where it's like, I wish I knew. No. I wish I knew you wanted me. I wish I knew. <laughs> See, the dog's like, <laughs> She never plays a song, so she is lying. She just wants to go with the trend. No, literally, I never, find myself ever. singing it all the time. I you have, sang it today in the shower. I sing it, but I've never heard her play it, ever. I play That's it in the car when I go in my car. Hey. These are lies she's telling. It's okay, though. Whatever. That's her That's her favorite. I can't say it's not. Yeah, I hate her. I'm not a hater, but I just never heard you listen to it. You oh. can't tell me a day I don't go to buy that I play Blast. No, that's true. You do play Blast. I would Blast. say... Blast. Keep coming out with the hits. <laughs> we need them. No, they are great. I do like listening yes, to them. Yes, sir. Okay, what is your favorite sport activity? Basketball. Yeah. Or we play um, soccer tennis with our family. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of fun, actually. That's fun. Yeah. And then mine would be obviously soccer, but soccer tennis is actually a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. 
Um, someone punched your BFF in the face. What is the third emoji to your, for this reaction? Okay, let's see. What is the third emoji for this reaction? Yeah. Let me go to your messages on both the third emoji. <laughs> Mine's the hundred. Oh. One hundo. <laughs> Dante's is the... <laughs> Fingers crossed they're okay, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say for 100, I'd say like bet. Okay, I'm jumping in on the fight. I'm gonna back my friend up. But some people could take it the other way. It's like, heck yeah, they got it. <laughs> I guess that would well, be, I promise I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, or it's like, hey, I hope this is okay. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. Shoot. Well, thanks guys for joining us today in our YouTube video with the Q&A. You guys went all out on these questions. Thank you so much for everyone who participated. Everyone that we didn't get to your question, apologies. There's just so many, so I had to sift through that and find the most simple and quick and easy ones to do. Let us know if you like this YouTube video. Please subscribe, turn on post notifications, and also follow us on our other sh socials, which is Instagram, TikTok, and obviously YouTube, Dante and Kenzie. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Uh, yeah, also let us know if there's anything you wanna see from us in the comments. We love to get your guys' feedback and always looking to see what you guys like, so yeah. Look forward to seeing you guys later. Bye, guys. Doop. See. <laughs>